Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Harry, here with uh, Harry Hales. So today we're going for a run. Again, this is my first time running in a while, so we're gonna be going for, I would say three to four miles, see how long I can uh, go for, whatever speed is comfortable. We're trying to get back into that as well, as well as doing the, the chin-ups I just started doing again. So we're basically kicking off my workout regimen that I've been doing before and improving on that. So we're gonna hit a few miles, it's actually, almost like spring here now and the weather is amazing outside I would say like mid 40s so I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that it's gonna dip that down in the 30s so gotta go get it after the run I'm gonna go into my workout I was watching a few videos on like Mike Tyson's working uh, workout routine and I wanted to implement that by uh, doing a lot of crunches throughout the day and um, as well as doing some squats throughout my entire day it doesn't necessarily have to be done in one shot but I'll go more in detail after that after the run uh, again, if you're already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified of all my new videos. If you are new, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like and comment down below. Any suggestions or feedback is appreciated. All right, we're going to get right into it. All right, guys. Just killed that run. Four miles. Nine-minute miles. I'm back. Worked very hard since COVID recovery. Just got to keep pushing more. Like I said, recently I've been just run by a negativity people doubting and all that so it's good to be in positive nope good to be back and be striving for better whenever you're surrounded by this shit you gotta push it out of your head work out do something you love just don't dwell on it only 40 minutes out of my day and i feel a whole lot better so i gotta go home and exercise all right guys so we just killed that uh run did nine minute miles four miles i feel like i'm back now i wasn't able to hit that until uh pre-covid so feel great so now we're gonna do uh, some push-ups you know part of my daily uh, push-up quota doing 100 uh, then we're gonna do some weight exercises with dumbbells so probably do some biceps today and shoulders and also made some progress on the burpees yesterday I hit um, 100 burpees I've been upping it by 10 every uh, three days four days so instead of going for uh, 70 yesterday I went for 400 kicked my ass but I was able to do it so yeah, we can get right into it. Also, one more thing, guys. So I'm about to get into this workout. I'm also gonna be trying a little bit of Mike Tyson's workout. I was watching a few videos on it. Just touching back more on that. Uh, he basically does, from what I saw, an insane amount of like crunches and um, push-ups and uh, squats throughout his day. I'm gonna start off a little bit lighter. So while I'm doing my push-ups, like I hit 100 push-ups anyway. Um, I'm gonna be doing sets of 20. Uh, squats for a total of 200 squats with 100 push-ups. Let's see if I can do more. But from what I saw in a quick video was depending on which route you go, let's say if it's sets of 50 or set for 100, it's either five or 10 sets for the day. So it'd be like sets of, well, in total, they'd be doing uh, like 500 push-ups throughout the whole day or 500 squats or 1,000 squats the whole day. I'm not gonna go that high at first. It's gonna try a bit lower and uh, see what I can get done.
All right, guys, it's been uh, an action-packed day. This is just a little recap. I just finished my burpees. So hopefully I did a four mile run, uh, 100 squats, five sets of 20. I also did my 100 push-ups, so I split that up. So I did uh, 10 sets of 10. Uh, the first five sets of 10, uh, it was followed by the 20 squats. And the remaining five sets of push-ups, I did Russian twist with a 35 pound weight, sets of 25. So I did that five times as well. And to wrap it up, I did uh, 50 burpees. So right now I'm gonna make uh, some food real quick in the air fryer. And um, yeah, just just go over again. This is my first meal. I'm also having a uh, Koya smoothie for the first time. I'll let you know how that is. I got four different flavors, so I'll have to give that a try. So we're gonna have Beyond Meat Sausage. We're also gonna try one of these salmon burgers I just I just got, so give one of them a try. Yeah, and I, again, I've been using a, a lot of Koya products recently. They have a lot of protein shakes and now the smoothie. The uh, reason why I recommend it, it has a lot of, you know, uh, benefits. Like they're soy free, dairy free. Um, the protein ones have a lot of protein. It's also plant-based both the smoothies and the uh, uh, protein shakes. So I really enjoy it. Uh, as far as the smoothies, I'm um, be trying out. First flavor I'm trying is Rise and Shine. It has pineapple, orange, carrot, mango, and lemon. So yeah, it's the first thing I'm drinking and eating today besides water and coffee. All right guys, so we also made some cauliflower rice. Again, it goes that uh, salmon patty. And that is not meat, that is actually Beyond Sausage. So it's all plant-based, as well as the uh, Koya smoothie we're having tonight. All right, guys. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I, uh, you know, it was an action-packed day. It's pretty much what I'm eat for uh, this evening. Besides, if I get some fruits later. But um, also, I just want to play this clip real quick. Okay, yeah. So uh, John from YouTube, obese to beast. There's a clip over here. Brazil's awesome. I want to visit very bad. It would be awesome. Any advice for a new YouTuber starting out? I lost 140 pounds and recently started documenting it. I don't really like, my tip is just be consistent. Be consistent and continue making videos. And like, if you're only making them because you want to get a lot of views, if those views don't happen, which they might not for a long time or ever, sadly, you're gonna hate doing it after a while. So like, I would like really think, why am I doing this? Why am I making these videos? And if it's because you're like, oh, I just enjoy it and it's fun, then continue doing it. What's up, One Mile Fitness? Shout out from Northern Ireland. So yeah, I've watched that. Uh, I was uh, definitely happy that he responded to my comment. I was looking a little bit of guidance into doing this because I am trying to help people and, uh, and grow on YouTube. And I'm taking his advice seriously. You know, I'm not doing it just for the likes. I, I actually genuinely like doing uh, this content and I'm gonna keep pushing forward. You know, I'm learning a lot just even watching uh, some of my previous videos, how far I came along with editing, my weight loss, and I like looking back on seeing how much I grew, both with my uh, weight loss goals, my fitness, and as well as the day-to-day -day things, you know, my camera gear, my editing skills, and just like the whole journey, man, you know? I really like, I like doing this and reaching out to people and helping them and you know, a lot of them is my friends, but even like just, you know, random people I've encountered on the internet, like it's awesome, you know, it just makes me feel good. And you know, I'm, I'm perfectly uh, accepting of what he said of, you know, you might never go somewhere, which is cool with me. I just like being able to look back on it at the end of the day and I genuinely like doing it. So don't worry, I'm gonna keep pushing with my content and uh, I won't let it deter me. Uh, like just already the, the small audience that I have so you know if you feel the same way leave a like and comment down below share this with a friend uh, make sure you hit that notification bell to uh, keep up to date with all my future videos but um, yeah great advice from a great guy uh, again just taking time out of his day to respond he has a massive following he's done amazing work so it's pretty cool to see you take time out of his day while he's working out to respond to that and I appreciate it but um, yeah back to me uh, my whole scenario uh, I look forward to it. Again, 28th is my weigh-in. If you are new, I have a weigh-in now on um, the 28th of every month. And, um, 
you know, I, I'm, I'm also, I'm just cutting right now. So I have a lot of protein. I'm, I am like also putting on muscle. So at the end of the day, it's not necessarily going to be about the weight. I'm taking photos to document it. But again, just in the last two weeks, you know, here's a photo. I, I've, I have amazing results already. And um, just going sh- strong with my diet, you know, being very disciplined with everything and uh, my workouts and making time for everything. Also getting your rest in, you know, I'm not doing what I was doing before. It was extremely hard, especially with school. You know, sometimes I'll sleep in four or five hours. Sometimes, some days I, I still sleep that much. It depends what, what's going on. You know, it's New York City lifestyle. So, there's, you know, there's always things to do, family life, personal life, and, you know, work and this. So it is a lot, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing that as much. Definitely not. So, yeah, you know, I'm extremely happy. Looking forward to it. And uh, can't wait to keep knocking those goals, man. Also, I have uh, merchandise out now. Got some uh, shirts on the way. If you'd like to support, uh, you know, let me know down below if you have any other suggestions of colors or if you do approve the new design. I appreciate a comment down below and stating that, you know, feedback is greatly appreciated. All right, guys, until the next one, peace out. Later.